Welcome back here at the Victim Newsroom live with a daily update. And we have Mr. Joachim Berman here live with us in the studio. Welcome, Mr. Berman. Uh, you're actually our neighbor here of the newsroom, so uh, we're going to hear from you how the response was today. But I first want to introduce our other guest. I'm joined by Neil Gannon. You're a product manager at Biomin, a large, very bright booth here at the uh, start of the hall. You, you guys play air hockey. Why is that? This was a carryover from our uh, World Nutrition Forum one year ago, which we had in Vancouver. Ice hockey very important in Vancouver, so we kept the theme going. Uh, gives us an opportunity to interact with the many delegates that are here at this conference. Exactly. Now, Neil, for, for our viewers who don't know Biomin, I can barely imagine, but let's explain. What do you do? Biomin is a feed additive company. Uh, we've been around for more than 35 years and headquartered in Vienna in Austria, but we have international presence in all parts of the world. All right, so we have a, a, an additives company, we have a process technology company, just a, an example of the broad range of companies here. Mr. Behrman, what has it been like? I, I caught up with you very early in the morning. We're now nearing the end of day one. Can you share a little bit about your experience today? The experience today was very good. And uh, compared to the last time, I think the quality of the People visited on our stand looking for more technology, looking more for hygienic treatment, uh, was fantastic, was good. Salespeople are always saying things like that on the first day. No, it was more than uh, the last time, and the quality of the uh, questions and the uh, ideas of looking in the future have been fantastic. Can you give an example of the type of questions you encounter here at the booth? Well, we had so many visitors from the, all the countries around here, and they had so many detailed questions. Um, uh, they want to increase uh, the quality of the feed. They want to increase hygienic treatment, conversion rate of the feed. And this is what we as a machine manufacturer who living between uh, technic and nutritionists, we have our own nutritionists in the company, so we know what we are talking about here, not just selling machines, we try to go deeply into the uh, ideas and the problems of our customers. Exactly. Well, Neil, do you recognize what, what has been the interaction on your stand today? Very similar to what Joachim has identified. Uh, lots of interest. Uh, with the seminars upstairs, there seems to be some waves where it gets very busy very interactive and then there's a, a bit of a lull where you can actually get time to have a coffee yourself so yeah very similar lots of interest i operate in asia from india everything east and so i have very many chances to interact with my customers so and and then what type of nationalities do you encounter here in the aisles uh, i have seen everybody as you may tell i'm australian um, so we've got everybody from our eastern colleagues in new zealand uh, through to india but also many european delegates as well as suppliers here all right. Now, one of the purposes of this daily wrap-up is that we try to discover what is the hot topic. What, what, what is everybody talking about here at Victim Asia 2018? So if you had to make a first dip in the water, what do you hear? What is top of mind? From my perspective, being a, working for a feed additive company, uh, alternative um, solutions for reducing antibiotic use, that, that's what's the hot topic on the feed additive. How can we could produce the amount of chicken, pork, beef, milk, etc., without reliance on antibiotics. So, very hot topic. That's what everybody's talking about. That's what we've been hearing here in the newsroom as well. Speakers at the FIAP Animal Nutrition Conference talk about that as well. So make sure you check out those videos on our Victim International YouTube channel. So, what is your response? How can we get rid of the antibiotics? It's, it's not going to be easy. Um, it re requires a holistic program in terms of looking at biosecurity, management, hygiene but also nutrition and feed additives within nutrition can play an important part. So it's sometimes antibiotics have used as a bit of support for poor other things, management, and, and it's easy, yeah. it's cheap. Cutting the corner. Cutting the corner. So using biomin solutions and other solutions, it is possible, but it just needs a little bit more holistic approach, yeah. but possible. Now, how is that from a process technology perspective? What is the hot topic when, when we look at these uh, new facilities? Here in, uh, in the Asian market, more and more, the quality of feed is coming uh, to understand the components, uh, hygienic treatment, all these things are becoming more important. So the discussions are not just passing by, having some questions. Everybody's going deeper into the uh, better feed in the future, 
and uh, so this was very good. Besides, we are always talking about feed, but this show is also for milling. The show is also for biomass, and we are uh, my company. One of my company is uh, one of the oldest uh, machine manufacturer of rice mills, more than 125 years ago old. And on the other side is a big subject here: is biomass as a fuel for the world. And this area here, these countries are fantastic, fast-growing wood. So uh, there are so many important discussions here. We are very happy. We are very satisfied for the first day. Exactly. And you say that's a specific Asian perspective because there's so much fast-growing wood. We're specifically, I guess, talking about the bamboo and the alikes. That you see a lot of interest in that? Yes, yes. Uh, our customer coming uh, from uh, uh, rubber, uh, rubber wood, uh, empty fruit bunches, whatever it is, there is so much biomass available here. And in the future, Korea, Japan and other countries were importing millions of tons and that makes it interesting also. And this is, since a long time, uh, Victim has done a very good job, not only looking for feed, they are looking for fish feed, for pet food, for biomass and also for milling industry and all together make it strong here also for the future. All under one roof, yeah. So if you had to extrapolate some of your discoveries and findings to, to some of your colleagues or, or, or some of your uh, uh, other people in this industry watching, what would your key takeaway be? be? What are you going to do different once you hit home next week? I travel a lot, so probably rest. But uh, the, the solutions that we've been talking about are common and many people understand them, but there's still a little bit of uh, ignorance around how these solutions work. So again, the better exposure we have through events like this makes it much easier to get our message out and for the message for the industry. This part, or Asia, 60% of all the poultry are produced in this, in this part of the world and those products go to all parts of the world. So having a good message, a positive outcome, good eating quality products, then that's what this meeting's about. It's so, so you're basically saying improving the food chain in the world starts with improving Asia? Absolutely. Most of the people in the world are in Asia as well. So it's an ideal meeting point, these sorts of conferences where lots of people come, lots of people involved in feed manufacturing, involved in feed processing, feed additives. It's a perfect meeting point for these sorts of things. I see Mr. Behrman smiling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the victim organization is doing a good job to concentrating here to Asia. Here are the people living and I believe really it will also give a, a push to Europe. And what I would see and would like to in the future is a little bit more research and development from the company, from our competitors all together. We are sometimes standing here and not moving enough. And we have to have uh, the ch um, we have to take the challenge yeah. uh, to do something new, not always looking back. The industry has to move. And I think this is a good place here to show. This. And I, I think this is a good place to challenge the industry to do that. So, so yeah. let's see, say they're watching and this video is going to be replayed millions of times. <laughs> take, take the airtime. What do you want the industry to come together and get behind? What do we need to do? Uh, I think what means to come together, we are here together yeah. and we, are, we have not seen us always as competitor. We are on the same market, so we have to respect each other, we have not to copy so much from each other and uh, if we, everybody is doing something, a new development, then definitely this is a very good living industry for the future, for the people, uh, for we say, uh, good feed means uh, good meat and is for people being healthy later on eating enjoyable meat. Are, are you saying this, this industry has become too competitive, too money driven? Never too much. Never uh, too much. I, but love, still, but those I love competition, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but, but on, yet? A, on a fair way. <laughs> on a fair way. You, you were nodding on that, Neil? Yes, I, I agree. Research and development is crucial to understanding how best to position the products within the global production system, but also in terms of feed manufacturer, feed hygiene, water hygiene, and hearing the feedback from our customers, as well as seeing innovations in, amongst the industry. This sort of conference is excellent for providing that insight. Yeah. I like to say something. I like to make a little bit of advertisement. Yes, I like to you make can take the camera if you want. Yeah, I like to make advertisement for the IFF in Germany. This is a feed mill technology institute in, near Brunswick. I would say it's the most uh, 
a leading institute with 50 years history and doing a lot of research as a, a meeting point for European feed millers, machine manufacturers, and they should come all to us. There, it's good. I'm there, the president, but I look for a su <laughs> successor. Um, and all right, we're looking for a new president of the IFF. That's right. Yes, an international research fund. Yeah, well, yeah. It's Thank you. very smart. We're live. So if you know anybody who could be the next president of the IFF, make sure you comment them right now here on Facebook, on YouTube, or use hashtag VictimAsia. Now, finally, let's imagine we have the luck to meet again at Victim Asia 2020. What do you hope that we talk about then? I hope that we talk similar sort of things, innovation in the industry, understanding how best to maximize... Yeah, but what have we innovated? Let's make it practical. Let's put a dot on the horizon. Okay. I think we will be successfully producing high quality meat products and milk products without the use of antibiotics. You, wow. Hopefully using a Neil Gannon said it here first, yeah. Victim Newsroom. Yeah. And Point hopefully using one. a Biomin solution. Yeah, that's, that's your stake. This How? is a very good uh, word, what he just said. And I hope that we see as much people again, healthy and a good way, and that the industry has moved a little bit further on. Exactly. Well, let's coin that one. Let's see if we have the luck and opportunity to meet again at Victim Asia 2020. <laughs>